Tag, you're it. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Tag Tuesday. We are doing Jasmine Monday Tag from July 6th, 2015. And we were tagged by Angie Lupus Life. Five questions. Question number one. Does your area you live in have a neighborhood watch? I think it does. I see neighborhood watch signs throughout the neighborhood, but we're not on it. Um, when John lived next door, we had a neighborhood watch because he always watched what was going on. <laughs> okay, question number two. Do you have neighbors who are not neighborly? Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> a few. Um, as a kid playing outside, did you dislike any neighbors? If so, why? Kid? Yeah, when you were a kid in the neighborhood you lived in, when you played outside, did you dislike anybody, any of your neighbors? I can't say that I did. You know, when you're a kid, you don't quite understand why people behave the way they do, and you play with them anyway, and you just kind of scratch your head. Why is he like that? No, the adults. Like, I did not, there was, there was two houses down the street from our house, and, like, if you even walked past their house, you would, they would, like, yell at you. So, on our side, on this, there was si sidewalk on one side of the street and not the other, and whenever we would walk down the street, we would cross over and walk on the other side of the street past those two houses. We got somebody in this neighborhood you have to do that too. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, on that one. Especially if you're walking your dog, they'll come out and stare at you. Yes, they will. And if your dog pees, you got their grass, the sidewalk, and then grass on outside. On, on What is that called, that little part? The curb. The curb, the grass by the curb. And if Freckles even pees on the grass by the curb, they come out screaming. It's, it's yeah. Um, would you rather have neighbors or not, and why? We don't pay much attention to our neighbors, so I, it doesn't really matter. You're more neighborly than I am. Yeah. I could care less. I, I, although I would prefer, you know, living in the mountains and not being around anybody. Um, I can get enough communication with people through my YouTube and my periscope and my Skype and all that kind of stuff um, but never have I lived next to um, such neighbors that are so just blatantly rude they leave their her, their daughter's toys parked in front of our driveway where we have to get out of our vehicles and move their her toys before we could pull into our driveway yeah, and they're sitting right out there watching us pull up but do they get up and come and move their stuff mm, nah well, oh boy. It's pretty rude and they put out a sign when they're outside playing in the middle of the road children playing five miles an hour please yeah, they, uh, they, they take over the street yeah and, and I think it's just I mean, yeah, we know there's kids here. We drive very slowly, okay? You don't have to put out a sign about it. We live on a double cul-de-sac. Come on. Okay, enough rant. <laughs> Do you have coffee with any neighbors? <laughs> no. I think I already answered that. <laughs> I don't drink coffee, one. And no, there's nobody around here that I would have coffee with. Now, Nikki and John, when they were next door, we used to hang out with them. Yeah, a lot. yeah. But since they moved, there's nobody in the neighborhood. Yeah, we, talk, we don't even talk. To them. That's why we're in the suburbs, man. Yeah, we don't want to get to know anybody. If we lived in uh, New Hampshire, I think I would be over somebody's house pretty much every day having tea coffee or hot chocolate or or somebody would be at our house pretty much every day. No, you don't think so? I'm just shaking my head. I'm just going to be in a lake. Be in a lake. You're going to be fishing? 
so you can <laughs> We're going to take the boat up to Dimitri's and have some pizza. You know, if you have good neighbors, it's one thing. If you have unfriendly neighbors, it's another. I will tell you, though, every year that we've thrown Halloween parties, we have passed out flyers to the immediate neighbors, not only warning them about the party, but also inviting them. And only once, other than Nikki and John, only once has anybody showed up. Yeah. So, but it is what it is. So that's the five questions that we have, and we are going to tag Big D, Jessa J, and Lisa Rance. Tag, you're it. And we will catch you on another episode of Tag Tuesday next week. Bye. Say bye. Bye.